way to the vet. Now, this is what I call breeding intentionally, unintentionally. Um, yes, Rolla was supposed to be the stud for her anyways. Um, I wasn't gonna progesterone test until tomorrow because Saturday she was less than a 1.2. They were super flirty on Saturday, super flirty on Friday, and I know I tested her on Friday as well. Hadn't seen any movement whatsoever, and normally she doesn't allow, well, girls in general don't allow them to tie unless they're like ready and the eggs are mature. Now, she could just be wild and crazy. I don't know, but we're headed to the vet to get a progesterone test. We're not gonna get the results until tomorrow, but I'd rather know. Um, I'm out of tests and they're not arriving until Wednesday. They, the company messed up and didn't ship them out the same day I ordered it. So, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, we're on our way to the vet now. And if, if she's not even ready or even close, then that's another great example for you that, you know, you don't always go off of behavior. Um, there's so many different factors, like she could just be, you know, flirty and crazy up until she's ready. And then, like I said in videos before, she has been flirty afterwards as well. Um, so, you know, she, it, it could just be her being her. So, we'll find out. Um, I hope that she's ovulating at least so that, um, you know, get the juices in there and it's, you know, it can sit there for at least a week, so, before it dies, so, you know, just a little pre-breeding, if, if you want to call it that, um, so yeah, I'm excited, I'm happy, um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. I was sitting out on the deck with my computer and I had dog toys out there and I figured that they were just like chewing bones on a bed. And I was like, it's really, really quiet. I wonder what's going on in there. And I walked in and I saw them tied and he looked at me and he screamed. He wasn't doing anything, nothing. Like she started to squirm a little bit, but he just, Wah! and I'm like, okay, buddy. Like you're okay, it's, it's all right. But I think it scared him as a first time where he was so terrified. And I've collected him before, so I don't know why he had that reaction. It was pretty funny, though. So, all right, guys, I'm going to stop and get some gas. Um, I'm not actually looking at the camera. Uh, it's on my dashboard, as you can probably tell, from the weird angling. So, um, I'll talk to you later. So, the doctor just called with her progesterone test numbers and my machine isn't wrong my test didn't go bad she is a 0.5 and these idiots are still trying to go so it's it's just a really good example for you um as to not always go by behaviors because if I were to go by behaviors, I'd be like, okay, well, great. Now they're tied together. So anyways, it's a good example of, um, you know, don't always go by behaviors. Um, do a progesterone test because if I would have just gone by this, I would have been like, oh, okay, she's ovulated. She's done this. She's done that. They've bred. It's great. She, they're going to have puppies, but, um, She's not even ovulating yet. So, I mean, it's kind of pointless that they're even tying. Um, I'm probably gonna separate them until she's ready so that they don't keep doing this. Yay. <laughs> Nut jobs. All right guys, so I just wanna say one more little thing to add to my video about progesterone testing. This is why it's super important because if you're trying to breed and you're just going off by behaviors, um, you know, what if, what if you're just watching the behaviors and you have the stud there, it's not your stud and he leaves, they've tied like Rollo and Dahlia did. You're like, okay, awesome. It's good. It's done. Go home. What if she doesn't ovulate for another 10 days? You know, I've had girls ovulate on day 22. So she wouldn't have gotten pregnant 
And so that that's, you know, another reason why you need to progesterone test. Another reason is, is that then you can plan your C-section and your due date. Like you'll know exactly when she's due, what to look out for, when to start, you know, taking temps, when to look for labor behavior, stuff like that. So it's really important. Um, if I would have just let them do their thing and, you know, assumed that she had ovulated on Friday, today's Tuesday, yesterday they tied. Yeah, they tied yesterday and this morning. If I would have just assumed that my tests were wrong and she ovulated on Friday or Saturday, I would have gotten that entirely wrong. So that is why it's extremely, extremely important to progesterone test your dogs for the timing of the pregnancy and the, um, the C-section and labor to getting great healthy litters, like, um, you know, with more puppies. And uh, yeah, it's just super important to the success of your breeding. So anyways, um, follow our journey. I'm gonna post more updates. I'm probably gonna run a test here on Thursday or Friday. Um, so it's not a bad thing that my tests aren't arriving until tomorrow. So um, yeah, I'm glad I ordered them. Actually, I wasn't even gonna order them, but um, something told me, hey, you should order these tests. So I did and um, I'll go from there. I'll just keep testing at home until she starts to rise and then I will take her to the vet again. I just wasn't sure, you know, um, I wasn't sure if my tests had gone bad. They only have like a certain amount of time before they go bad um, once you open the package and you know, because they tied, I didn't, I didn't want to get, you know, my timing wrong and um, you know, have an emergency C-section and all that stuff. So I just wanted to make sure that I did everything right. So I just rushed her to the vet immediately to make sure that everything lined up. So anyways, happy breeding everybody. I'm gonna go feed the puppy and I'll talk to you later.